Okay, so welcome to Minimalist Android Setups episode 2. If you're new here, my name is Kagan and in this series of videos, I'll be sharing with you minimalist Android setups that I use on my personal phones. I drop a new Android home screen setup every single week, so if you'd like to be notified every time I drop a new video, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications. So jumping straight into the setup, this particular setup I use on my Pixel 2 XL is built on the Niagara launcher. Now technically there is no app drawer on this setup, so you're going to have to be willing to relearn the way you interact with your Android phone to really really enjoy this setup. Now for this setup you're basically going to need 5 things, you're going to need the Niagara launcher first of all, of course, you're going to need the Super Widget Pro, you're going to need the minimal UI application, you're going to need the Zedge application for wallpapers and ringtones and stuff like that. And Last but not least, you're going to need the flight light icon pack. So pretty simple, setting this up is actually extremely easy. You install the Niagara launcher, you go into the settings and you pull in the flight light icon pack and you basically have it looking almost like this. And the only other things that you have to do is decide if you want to have the alphabets to the right side to guide you all through your applications or if you want to reduce the icon sizes and if you want to change the wallpaper with the Zedge application. For me personally, the wallpapers that I'm using are from the Pixel 3 XL section of the Zedge application and I did reduce the size of my applications to the second smallest possible option. Now of course the main applications that you leave on your home screen are basically from this section called the favorite section and when you do have notifications in this applications it pops up on the home screen and the notification is right there on the home screen so you can respond to messages from the home screen without even having to open applications up. This is especially useful for accessibility because if you have a really big phone you don't necessarily have to go into your notification drawer anymore to deal with stuff. Even more interesting, when you're playing music, this launcher actually has a widget baked in that basically pops up on your home screen so that you can control your music right there on the home screen. Now note that this is not exactly how the top half of the home screen section looks like by default so that's where the Super Widget Pro and the minimal UI settings come in. You're basically going to need to replace the widget that's already there with something from Zuber Widget Pro and the minimal UI collection and you can basically play around with this till you find something that you feel matches the aesthetic that you're going for. Sounds simple enough doesn't it? You can basically customize the size of the icons on the home screen between 5 different sizes and you can continue to change the favorite applications that you have in that section and you navigate through the rest of your apps from the right side with this alphabet rain Niagara thingy and that's basically all there is to this setup. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to be notified when I drop next week's video on minimalist Android setups, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan next week.